In this video, we'll cover everything you'll need in the day-to-day -day use of your Dojo Go. You'll learn how to enable gratuity, how to take card payments, how to print and email receipts, and how to process a refund and reverse a transaction. Let's get started by enabling gratuity. If your business takes tips, we recommend doing this before you start taking payments. Tap the menu icon in the top left of the screen and tap settings. Then select gratuity values. On the next screen, enabling custom amount lets your customers enter their own gratuity amount. Tap this to toggle it on. Tap percentage based options to see a selection of default gratuity percentages to display to your customers. You can select up to three. Tap the back arrow until you return to the settings screen. Then tap the menu icon and select sale to return to the sales screen. To take a payment, use the touchscreen keypad to enter the sale amount, then tap confirm. If gratuity is enabled, your customer can then enter the tip amount. The total amount will appear on screen for your customer to pay by tapping, inserting or swiping their card. To make a contactless payment, your customer taps their card or smart device at the top of the card machine, above the screen. They can also use chip and pin by inserting their card in the bottom of the machine and typing their pin on the touch screen. As a fallback, cardholders can also swipe their card through the reader at the top of the card machine. This is between the contactless reader and the screen. When a payment is successful, your Dojo Go will beep and say approved. You'll see a different message if the payment was unsuccessful. Ask the customer to try again or simply try another payment method. To get a receipt, tap print receipt for a paper version or tap email receipt to send your customer a digital version. Enter their email address and tap send to email the receipt to them. You can print and email as many receipts for each transaction as you need. Dojo's merchant and customer receipts are identical, so print one off for yourself as well. Tap done when you're finished to complete the transaction. You can also print a receipt for an older transaction from your transactions list. Tap the menu icon in the top left of the screen and select Transactions. Select the relevant choice from the list, tap Receipt, and choose whether to print or email the receipt. Before you can refund or reverse a transaction, you'll need your supervisor code. This is a four-digit number that lets you do admin tasks on your Dojo card machine. To process a refund, first check that the refund card is the same as the one that made the payment. Do this by checking it against the card number on the receipt. Tap the menu icon in the top left of the screen and tap Refund. Enter the refund amount and then tap Confirm. Enter your supervisor code to authorise the refund. Just like a sale, the cardholder can tap, insert or swipe their card. Once the refund's approved, just print or email a receipt for your business and the cardholder. Reversing a transaction is almost the same as a refund, except you can only reverse your most recent transaction. Tap the menu icon, then tap Transactions and select your most recent transaction from the top of the list. Then tap Reverse. Enter your supervisor code to authorise the reversal then print or email a receipt just like any other transaction. Taking payments is only the start. For more ways to make the most of your Dojo account, check out support.dojo.tech.